first we're gonna get rid of the picture and the glass we don't need that and we're gonna prepare this frame with modeling past I don't have a ready modeling past uh, you can find some but I'm just mixing mine with modeling uh, with gesso so uh, use any kind you have it doesn't matter We're gonna uh, apply that over a stencil. It's an art anthology stencil. I'm applying only half of the frame because I want to make some effects with two different stencils. So uh, this one is a start. It's gonna be like, you know, uh, wallpaper one of the bottom the other one on the top so get rid of the excess doesn't matter we're gonna paint that anyway you're not gonna see the modeling past after that now the top uh, with another art anthology stencil this one is blocked it's like small square And once we finish with that, and uh, once it's dry, we're gonna paint it. The drying part. Okay, I think it's done. Um, I'm just applying the rest of my modeling pasts. Uh, to paint the the frame, the edge of the frame in black after that, so I just got an excess of paste, so I'm using it. A little bit, little bit of drying. And I'm applying uh, the modeling pass like it's gesso in it so you can use it uh, to prepare your medium uh, for painting Okay, now we're gonna paint a little bit. Uh, choose orange for the top. Uh, this dimensional paint is um, like clear paint but with color. You can see through. And I didn't guess so all the frame because it already has a, a distress effect and I wanna keep it by, um, in, in, with the paint. So I choose the, the tango because we, you can see through the painting. Okay, another color. This one is Mardi Gras. It's a nice purple. And you can now see how it's gonna look with the orange and the purple on the, on the bottom. And the pattern of the stencil reveal itself with the color. It's like a vintage wallpaper.
Okay, we're gonna paint the blind in in black. Uh, they are already dark blue, so you don't need a an heavy coat of paint for that. This black got a nice um, shimmer in it, and um, be quick because this side won't show up. But I love that both side of this blind. Um, will be paint so I paint it. Now let's paint the edges of the frame. gonna paint the background of the frame. I start with the black leather paint um, to be sure that my background gonna be very dark. And then I had the uh, color spray in Marlin. It's a dark blue to have uh, the effect of a dark night sky. I decided to add a more distressed look, so I used the um, Black Foos Distress Ink Pad from Ranger. Uh, not only on the edges, but also all around the frame um, to give dimensions to the modeling past we apply with the stencil.
I decided to add some spider web to the frame, so I took uh, this stem from Empton Heart uh, with a web. Uh, they also got a tiny spider, I'm gonna stem that after. But here I just stem two web on the top corner. I was going to stamp that uh, tiny spider on white paper, but I decided to change my mind and just stamp it directly into the frame. Okay, it's time to stamp the cat the main image in my Halloween frame. And I stamped a broomstick too, because I wanted a cat on a broomstick. This paint is a um, dimensional paint uh, with a stone effect, the color is bone and it's like um, a paint with sand in it so it gives a lot of dimension of the, uh, at the image. Um, you're gonna see at the end of the video a close up to see uh, the dimension of this paint. So I'm with paint I will just color uh, the moon and uh, I think I, I need a refill on my ink pad because the cat is not as black as I wanted so I will uh, just use a pen, a black pen to color the cat once more You can tell that my ink pad need a refill by the difference between the product color with the black pen and the stamped image. So uh, you will not go through the whole coloring thing, I promise. Now I'm gonna use a uh, color spray uh, from Art Anthology to color my stamp, the broomstick. Uh, you can do it with marker, but uh, those color I like um, a little bit like watercolor if you use it with a brush. So just have fun and pick some color you like and try it. The coloring is done, so now I just uh, cut out my image, the broomstick, and uh, later the cat to put it on the background.
Now that I've found the place I want to put the cat, I'm gonna add some uh, white paint um, around the image of the moon to create like an halo effect, uh, like the light of the moon around the moon and the cat. Obviously, I'm not happy. Uh, so I'm gonna use now a brush to create this yellow effect. lot better, don't you think? I will now add some accent to our frame with paper ribbon. Um, we'll distress with ink and just uh, glue it on the border between the two colors. My final touch for this Halloween frame will be flowers. I take some in purple, orange and black uh, with leaves and I distress them with uh, black ink. I try to arrange the flower around the window like a vine going around. And uh, the final, final touch will be a small tag on the bottom left uh, saying happy hunting. <laughs> 